Today on Miniature Mashup, I review and paint a line of subscription box fantasy miniatures. Okay guys, I've got another miniature review for you today, but before we get into that, I just want to talk about something a little bit heavier for a second. Right now, the citizens of Ukraine are undergoing a brutal invasion where civilians are being killed and their homes are being destroyed and millions of refugees are flooding into Poland. This is an illegal and unjustified military action from a country that has done its best to destabilize democracies all over the world. So I have a little platform here, and I know some of you are going to call this uh, virtue signaling, but no, I'm going to take what little action I can. Until Russia leaves Ukraine territory, I will not be supporting any business that is currently based in Russia. It's not about attacking Russian nationals in other countries or that a business is set up somewhere else. I'm just trying to keep money out of the Russian economy. And what that means for this channel is that I will no longer be buying Technolog miniatures. I don't know what the politics are of the people over at Technolog. They may love Putin, they may hate him. That isn't the point. The point is to crush the Russian economy as quickly and completely as possible so they can leave this business of empire building. To that end, I will no longer support Technolog, and I hope you join me in doing so. So um, today I'm reviewing Dungeon Swag Miniatures. They sent me these miniatures quite some time ago, and uh, I just have not been making videos, guys. I've still been doing a little bit of hobby stuff here and there. It's just the taping of it and the editing of it. And I, You don't want to hear me gripe. You're here to watch videos, not hear me complain about why you can't. Dungeon Swag Miniatures is a subscription service that mails you seven very nicely detailed 3D printed miniatures for about $15.99 per month. Uh, I don't know what I said about. It's $15.99 per month. And that makes them about $2.30 a piece. And I think that price also includes the shipping. Uh, if it does, then that makes them a lot cheaper than something like even Bones, Reaper Bones miniatures, and certainly Nolzers. Especially when you look at the size of some of these miniatures, that might, uh, as a Reaper Bones, might run you closer to like five bucks because they're kind of they're kind of on the large size these are very nicely detailed miniatures and they have a nice modern fantasy aesthetic uh, the style comes across to me as very world of warcraft or magic the gathering uh, they take paint very well and there's no mold lines to clean up because they are 3d printed and they don't need to be washed before you begin painting them uh, they come separate from their bases so you can rebase them if you don't like the bases provided they also come with stickers which is you know fun. I was given two boxes to review and one of the boxes was filled with townsfolk which is something I don't collect, paint, or use. I know a lot of people love townsfolk miniatures but I kind of have a real dislike for them. Uh, they remind me of my grandmother's tchotchkes, cute little figurines of German barmaids or Italian guys making bread. I use miniatures for combat, and I've, I've never set a pack of wild tobacconists on my party, so I don't get these guys. They just seem like a chore to paint with no real play value. And I don't do dioramas, and even if I did, I'd still probably do a diorama of a battle and not, you know, people in line at the butcher shop. So, for me, this kind of underlines what I personally don't love about subscription services, and that you don't get to select what you get, and you might end up paying for something you don't really want. Now, that's not a criticism of Dungeon Swag in particular. Uh, that's simply, simply the whole loot crate business model, which has been a thing for years now. And as a consumer, you're either down with that business model or you're not. But I do want to stress the fact that these miniatures are very nice and reasonably priced, and if you're someone who paints a lot of minis and are on the market for good affordable fantasy miniatures, then you can't do much better than Dungeon Swag miniatures. I painted up four of them, and I think they came out pretty great. Dungeon Swag miniatures, get that miniature mashup, seal of approval. Alright, I'm going to paint up a few of these, just to show what they look like with some paint on them, really give them a fair review, and see how well they slap together, what have you. So I'm just putting them on the bases provided with some E6000. The next thing I'm going to do is rip up some cork using my vice grips and then those will serve as larger rocks and I fix those to the bases using uh, some regular old PVA white glue, craft glue, school glue, glue, whatever you want to call it. I just sort of smear that around and once I've put those rocks on, uh, again which will tear off, uh, I find this ripping cork gives you the best. If you cut it you get kind of square very synthetic looking edges but the torn up cork is just makes such good rocks I love it and for the rest of the basing just regular old craft sand I know this isn't the the highest end flocking material but uh, 
boy, it's affordable. And then outside for a nice little prime job, I think I'm hitting everybody with flat black primer, probably from the dollar store, certainly not something I spent more than a dollar or two on for the can. I always try to keep my spray primer costs way down. Here's the base coats on the minis. And I uh, didn't go through the whole painting process. The base coats worked my way up on these four. And yeah, I think they came out pretty great. As always, you can support this channel by donating to my GoFundMe campaign or checking out my eBay store and buying something on there. I've got all kinds of miniature and fantasy related items. The links for both of those are in the description below.